Hey, have you heard the one about M&M's melting in your mouth, not in your hand? Yeah, that's what M&M stands for. What do you mean? It stands for melt in your mouth. Oh, oh wow, okay. Is there a way that we can test this claim that it doesn't melt in your hand? Yeah, first we could start off with getting a couple of M&Ms out and putting them in my hand. Okay. And then maybe I could see uh, the temperature and see if it melts. All right, let's get one out and put it in your hand and let's see what the temperature of your hand is. So we've got a blue one. Okay. All right, I've got my thermometer here. The temperature in your hand, just move it back a little bit. Sorry. Temperature of hand says it's 35 degrees. I'm trying to get it to focus. 35 degrees. Mm -hmm. And now do okay. I the yep. so Put the M&M in your hand. Let's give it a squeeze. For 30 seconds. Okay, go. Oh, so they've got that. I just heard a crack. Uh-oh. Should we have a sneak peek? Did you feel a crack? No, it looks okay. Keep on squeezing. I heard a crack. Just move your hand back a little bit. Um, Maybe it's the other so side. So I've heard that it's the sugar coating that they put on the M&Ms that stop them from melting. Yeah, because and I know that's never melted before, but the colour, it melts, but the actual shell, it doesn't okay. melt. So we're really trying to see, does the shell melt yeah. in your hand? Okay, let's have a look. So it's So the shell blue. certainly hasn't melted. Oh, you've got a little bit of blue little on your stain. hand. Okay. And Does the shell still feel hard? Uh. If you squeeze oh, hard. Yeah, if I squeeze hard, it cracks. All right. But uh, the is that, why is that? Why does it feel like it's cracked? Um, well, after being in my palm, it's heated up quite a bit. And so it's, it's easier to break. Let's put this one over here. Can you grab another one? Can you just crack one? Can you just squeeze it and crack it? Right. No. Okay. Well, there's a little crack. Okay. So, what we've seen so far is they don't normally crack, mm -hmm. but after 30 seconds in your, in your hand, it cracks. But the shell hasn't, you know, melted. It's just that the chocolate inside has melted. Mm. I wonder how much, how hot it needs to be for the shell to melt. What else could we do to get the shell to melt? Well, how can we make it hotter? Well, can I try if it melts in my mouth? Uh, well, yeah, but we want to just see what temperature we can get the shell to melt at. Um, we could use a... Can we use a hot plate? A hot plate. Okay, this is a hot plate. All right, let's turn him on. And I'm going to put the heat up high. So I can't okay. touch it. Oh, no, do you have to be careful not to touch it? Okay, can you chuck a M&M &M in here? It's blue. So it's the same colour. Let's check this temperature. The residue of the m and is still on my hands. Hey, 38 degrees? Of the m and and then the hot plate. And how about the hot plate? Hot plate, 65 degrees. Wow. And the beaker? 45 degrees, mm -hmm. 47 degrees. Oh. Okay, so it's getting hotter. But I haven't seen any deformation yet in the shell. No, none. I wonder if it's getting like squishier. I've washed it. Wow, 75, 80 degrees. Is that the M&M? Well, it's actually going through the glass. Let's see what this says. 64. All right, 75 degrees. What do you reckon's happened to the chocolate inside now? The chocolate would definitely be melted because it melted in my hand at, was it 31 degrees or something? Mm, yeah, absolutely. And what's happened to the shell? Can you see any signs of it melting? Oh, uh, the shell, the shell's not even sweating like it was in my palm. No. So it was the sweat. flip it over with But something. see, what was sweating before? The colour coating. No, but, but where was the sweat coming from? Was it coming from the chocolate or the M&M or from your hand? The M&M, on my hand, maybe. Mm. Yeah, yeah, so it was your sweat. Okay, this oh, beaker. There's little water bubbles on it. Yeah, this beaker says it's 100. And, let's see. This beaker says it's over 100 degrees. Could we flip the M&M? Yeah, let's see what the actual M&M says. We're using a ruler. Oh, it's. Ooh. Still sounds hard, doesn't it? Mm. What do you reckon? Oh, Can I you see, hear that? I just saw a little crack. 
Yeah, oh, it's cracking. Yeah? Can you see that? Oh, it is a little hot. <laughs> mm. It's pretty, it's still pretty hot. Okay, oh, see inside, there. see how inside it's totally melted? Inside? Inside it's totally it's melted, cool. but the shell is cracked, but it hasn't melted. Mm. Okay, what can we do? How can we get it hotter? Is there anything we can do to make um, it hotter? We could try and use a bunch of burn. All right, I'm gonna get it from the gas on. Okay, so now we're going to try and put uh, an M&M in the Bunsen burner and see how hot we can get it. See if we can get the shell. See if we can to get crack. the shell to crack. So, it's so, all oh, get the shell to melt. So so far, um, it didn't melt in the hand. It didn't melt uh, in a beaker well, the on the hot. Melted, yeah, that's true. The... But it didn't melt on a hot plate. Now we're going to try and melt it in the Bunsen oh, burner. How hot? I can hot, already see some cracks. How hot is this cracks. getting? It's not... 240 degrees. Uh, oh yeah, I can see some cracks. Yeah, they can see a crack. So... Can you check the temperature again? Yeah. Of the... Of what? Of the... To go in and... and oh, look. See some interesting stuff happening there now. What's the temperature? Of the M&M? Yeah. The M&M is... 130 degrees? 130, about 130. No, 135. 130 degrees. And now, come over, can you see over here? See how we're getting oh, that blue? Oh, so yeah. I reckon it's melting there now. Oh. Okay, so you know what's happened? Um, it's cracked and the chocolate has Whoa, oozed out. The chocolate's burning. The chocolate is burning, but the chocolate. how about the shell? The shell? Oh, can you smell that? Oh, it smells like a campfire. Mm -hmm. It smells like um, marshmallows. The chocolate is cracking. Yeah, but the shell, what's happening with the shell? The shell is, um, it's like going black. And it's cracking. Okay. Has the shell melted? I think it has. Okay, the question is, has that shell melted? I would think not. Now let's check the temperature and then I'm gonna turn it off. 296 degrees. Yeah. And the shell has not melted. That. And you can see it's bubbling. Okay, so you agree that the chocolate has melted. The chocolate has melted. But the shell has not melted. Okay, so. This is not safe to eat. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, I think we need to turn it off now. 